cancer cells use their metabolism to grow faster and even in an uncontrolled manner. And one of these key players in cellular metabolism or cancer cells metabolism is mitochondria or the powerhouse of the cell. They produce adenosine triphosphate or ATP, which is the energy currency, which produces the energy in, inside the cells. So our idea is to target the mitochondria as a novel uh, strategy. But the problem is that the mitochondria is ubiquitous. It is present in healthy cells as well as in cancer cells. So how to target and damage those mitochondria which are residing in the cancer cells but not in the healthy cells because you need those mitochondria in the healthy cells for the regular metabolism of your body. The main challenge was that for a chemist to design these experiments. We are using a multidisciplinary approach in our lab by merging chemistry, biology and nanotechnology based approach to address and very specifically target the mitochondria inside the cancer cells. The mitochondrial membrane is negatively charged with respect to the cell membrane. So to take the advantage of this, what we thought is we will develop a positively charged nanoparticle. We packaged a drug called Obatoclax inside this tiny package. We characterize these nanoparticles by microscopy. But the major question is how these nanoparticles are so specific to tumor tissues, not the healthy tissues. So now if you look closely to the tumor tissues, you will see that pore size of the tumor blood vessel are much bigger compared to the healthy cells. So we actually engineer those nanoscale packages so that it can very specifically go and pass those pores accumulate into the tumor tissues much better, much enhanced way compared to the healthy cells. And to our advantages, the theoretical predictions matched with the experimental results. Nanoparticles could go inside the cells and ultimately into the mitochondria and cause apoptosis, that is the programmed cell death. So these nano packages or nanotechnology based approaches or platforms have tremendous potential in next generation cancer therapeutics. Still lots of work needs to be done because we have not tested these nanoparticles into the animal model. I hope uh, this will work very nicely in the, um, in the animal model and in future that can reduce the pain of multiple cancer patients who are suffering terrible death probably in coming. So we, we are very happy that we can actually be helpful by our science to the community.